my channel. My name is Veronica. For those who are new, I'm going to tell you who are new. So today is going to be another like get ready with me. But last time, I was very... I was getting ready with you know peace and quiet and everything. Damon was asleep. Damon was my son. I do have a toddler for those who are new and don't know. I do have a toddler and está tocadito and like you know I was able to talk and everything. But today we're going to be doing a get ready with me, but with a toddler. Okay, so para los que no tienen niños y quieren niños, let me just tell you guys. Let me just start by telling you guys that um. Hold on, let me adjust you guys. That I literally cleaned this whole house like two or three times already. I swear to God. Outside in the living room, I don't know if you guys can see it. I cleaned it two times already. Y eso otra vez del desmadre. I just got out the shower, so that's why I look, um, you know, crusty. And then I cleaned the freaking bedroom. Es las almohadas iba a lavar, and he puts him back in the bed. He pulls on the freaking sheets, everything. Y otra vez en el suelo, there's crayons, there's diapers, there's everything. And I'm like, dude, like. Please, just 10 minutes. Que esté limpia la casa, 10 minutes. And then people come back to my house and be like, oh, you haven't cleaned. Yes, I cleaned like four times, but this little boy no deja. Like, no, you know? So I'm be doing my makeup today. Um, And yeah, a ver como me va con el niño. I know there's going to be a lot of like, Damien, stop, and this and that. Because he's Damien. He's, that's how he is. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, hit the bell icon so you guys get notified every time I upload. So you guys won't miss any of my future videos. And yeah. Let's start with my hair. I finished my conditioner. So my hair is so freaking tangly. Look at the Look at this big ass carlanja right here. Oh my goodness. Look. It's siempre se me hace mañana. Vadi. ¿Cómo se llama? Like carlanja up here. Then down here. So yeah. And I am wearing a dress today. It's so hot today. Va a estar como a ciento, se me hace como a ciento siete o algo así. It's gonna be pretty hot. I'm wearing a dress. Yeah. Let's see. Sometimes I just like literally just give up on cleaning already because I clean in the morning. Por ahí cuando he's such a messy eater. Él es de las personas de que come y si no le gusta, you know, the taste of the food or like he like quita el sabor, then he just like throws them over there and over here and like y le doy sus manazos because obviously he's not supposed to be doing that but he doesn't learn like he's just like he doesn't care and le doy sus manazos and he starts laughing and it's like dude how am I gonna freaking um como se dice educate you like do you want me to like hit you with the bell or something <laughs> but he literally starts laughing le, le doy en la mano y he goes <laughs> and I'm like joder tu madre and like right now, ahorita that I just started the video, he already has all my shorts on the floor. He has everything on the floor. Oh my God. And honestly, I feel like there's a lot of people que van a decir, ay, pues métele un jodazo, ya está grande. Because my husband, look at this. Ya métele un jodazo. And I'm like, dude, like, I understand that there's times where you, you should hit your kids, you know, to discipline them, like, you know, but I feel like he's, he's barely two. And like, he shouldn't be, you know, being getting hit just for like, you know, things like that because then luego me va a tener miedo and I don't want him that. I don't want him to que me tenga miedo or like when he, okay, like he does get scared when I scream at him and stuff, but like that's all I do. I only scream. I don't really hit it, papi, no, no, no los tires. So I only like just scream at him and so he gets scared because I, of the pitch because, you know, I scream in it, but not because I'm screaming at him. So, I'm going to do this because then he's going to be... Papa, take all these and put them there. Take all this, my love. Look, take all this and put them here. You see, if I tell him, he'll understand and he puts them in. Like, right now, he's putting... Oh, he's putting them. But yeah, that's my little rant on my toddler. There's people that can be like, oh my god, if I was you, ya lo hubiera puesto sus nalgadas. If I was you, oh no, lo tuviera así. And it's like, the, he ain't your kid, so, no lo mantienes. He didn't come out from your vagina, so fuck off. You know what I didn't like? I really disliked when 
he was a baby, like chiquito, chiquito. So put it right here. He was like a baby. Okay, so ever since I can remember, I when I would hear babies cry when I was younger, me daba like, like this like, oh my god, just carry them like me desesperaba, just hearing them cry. I don't know why. I just like no me gustaba oír los niños llorar. So obviously when I had mine, yo cuando lo lo iba a llorar like, oh what's wrong with this? You know I would go like carrying him and everything. Por lo mismo de que no me gustaba yo dejarlo llorar. And my mom is like that too. Like she, she doesn't like when have like hearing the babies cry. And there is times where you're like, you know, I do admit that sometimes the kids cry and like they're just crying just to cry. Like they're fed, they changed, and you know, like when they're like two, three, four months, and it's like okay, like you know, just let them cry. But me, I wouldn't, right? Because I'm da cosa. And so then my husband be like, it's because you need to let him cry, cause it's in that, and then and I'll be like, dude, like. If he's my, if I'm taking care of him, you're working, and I understand you can't always take, you know, in the nights you come and you sleep so you could go again to work. So like, if I'm not gonna let him cry, you know, and later on if he like, if he says it like, um, ch chillon or whatever the fuck you wanna call it, you know, it's me. I'm the one taking care of him. I'm, I feel like when my when my sogra would tell me, I would be like, okay, like you know, I understand, like I understand, but I'm not going to do it type of thing. I understand where you're coming from and you know and i would i would like want to like you know let him cry and do this and that you know it's like like oh like i me da cosa me da cosa i hear him cry till right now like i hear him cry and i'm like what what do you need what do you want and like i don't like hearing him cry and so i that's what i hate when other people tell me like i feel like my swagger is like okay like whatever like it's it doesn't really bother me but when other people tell me like oh you should let him cry like it get up pulmon is like I didn't let him cry and he has some big ass, like some freaking high pitch, you know? He screams and it's like loud as fuck and he didn't need to cry when he was young. So it was kind of like, Ay, papi, no. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I did dislike when like people would tell me that. I'd be like, dude. And my head be like, you know what? You need to shut the fuck up because it's not even your kid. He just fell off his bed. <laughs> it's not even your kid. So like, con tu tengan los tuyos, you do whatever the fuck you want with your spoke. Con el mío, he came out of my pussy. He came out of, you know, yo lo estoy cuidando. So let me be the, the you know, the one that fucking makes it. The way I fucking want. And there's gonna be people be like, oh my god, like, um, didn't you show him? Ya de chiquito. No, 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 no. Cuando tú, ¿qué papi? ¿Qué? Digo, cuando tú tengas los tuyos, raise them how the fuck you want. But not mine. Sí. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? He's literally being a me teacher right now. He just like wants to be in his drawer, the las cremas and everything. He's just there, the metiche. That's what he likes. Here. Metiche. Okay, pick. Levanta todos los, los shorts. No los acabas de poner aquí. Pepe, levanta tus shorts. Andale. Ahorita juegas con esto. Ven. So I had to do my hair uh, in a bun because it was getting really hot. Like, I was getting like sweaty. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing my makeup because my husband's gonna get here como en una hora. So, yeah, I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Um, I know it's kind of hot for makeup, so I'm just gonna do like a, like my brows and like, what right there, <laughs> my brows and like a little bit of mascara and maybe eyelashes. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, let's get to it. We're probably gonna go to a pool today too, so I'm not gonna wear mascara because I don't want to like take it off. It, like I really hate when I have to wear mascara and like I don't like the rubbing. You know when you have to take off the mascara with that I, I don't like that so i'd rather just put lashes like, like that i don't wear like mascara on my my actual lashes so yeah i think i'll just do that so today we're going to start with my eyebrows again do you guys want it to be fast ready one two three and brows are done they look pretty dark but <laughs> Yeah, con, la, con like the face makeup se va a mirar mejor. So, don't judge my eyebrows just yet. They do look kind of like second cousins right now, but it's good enough. I'm gonna prime my um, eyelids with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. It's like the little, like this one. Just a little bit.
Okay, now my lids are my lids are primed. It looks a little cray cray right now. A little crazy, but get better, trust me. <laughs> Sorry for the lighting because the window's on this side and I have like a little ring light on this side and it's like I don't know. But um yeah. So I primed them and now I'm going to um kind of set them with the Morphe setting spray, translucent. Is what I'm going to use. And Damon's eating uh, bolis right now. And he's watching um, Boss Baby too, so. Get him a little occupied. Honestly, if you guys need um, your child to like sit down and like, you just get something to eat. Trust me. Something they like. Okay, so I changed my mind. Oh my this madre. Okay, so today I'm actually gonna do something kind of colorful. I want to do like a purplish eyeshadow. So um, I'm going to start with my bolus Okay, so I'm gonna do like a little purple moment because I don't usually wear purple. The only one I've actually like used out like in public is like a pink. But today I do want to like get out of my comfort zone as well. And um. You know, so I'm gonna start with the um, crease colors. I'm just gonna do like a, um, a brownish. So I'm gonna start with my transition color. It's like a brown. It's this one right here. This one right there. And let me just tell you that I am not an expert. I have never done a purple eyeshadow, so this is actually my first time doing a purple one. Good enough. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to do a... I think I should have done a purple transition color, huh? Okay, oh well. So I'm going to use this little fluff fluffy brush, and I'm going to go ahead and get this purple one right here let's see how that one oh okay it's kind of you can see it <laughs> i'm not even wearing purple but i'm wearing the black dress so Sorry, I had to adjust the light because it was bugging me. Okay, so the purple does look better in person, or like brighter in person than in the phone, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it in with this purple I have. I'm gonna use one, it does have a little bit of brown, but it's okay. I need to clean my brushes. I do wanna do like a little cut crease because All right, I think it will look cuter with a cut crease. But I'm not really too good at cut creases, so. Okay, so I tried cutting the crease, but I don't know if I'm liking it. It's like, I cannot cut creases, guys. Like, I have a piece of paya? No, don't touch that. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like the inner corners, I mean, the outer corners are not like dark enough. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me turn on the, the light. I have a lot. Look at this big ass pimple. It's so annoying. Te viene otra vez esta niña. What are you doing here? Huh? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
So my husband is taking a shower, so I be in this thing. Look at him. Dude. I just put you over there. Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the this with a baby wipe. Or como sale. Okay, good enough. I'm done. Okay, and then for right here, I'm going to use this thing, this one. Ah. Okay, so I finished putting on the lashes and the eyeliner. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. We finish off the face, okay? And I looked all messed up because let me just tell you, I had literally finished my base, my contouring. Like I felt cute. I was like, "Ooh, girl!" You know. I just needed to wear lipstick or put on lipstick, and I went to a restroom because I felt like I I had just got my period. I was like, "What the heck?" And mind you, I have a IUD, so it's a type of birth control. It's the one with the little team. So and I don't really get my period, so I was like, "What the heck? It's kind of weird." So I thought I got my period. And I went to go check, and literally, when I wiped and everything, and like, messed up on the pantalon, el chor para arriba, my underwears. Right when I was about to wash my hands, like, you know, go like this, I felt this, like, nasty ass sharp pain in my back that I was like, kill me, Lord. And like, it literally, it dr I dropped to the floor. Like, I had one knee on the floor, and the other one, like, holding, like, my hand on, like, I had my hand on my knee, like, this hand on my knee, and this one, I was just, like, holding on to the sink. And I was like, oh my. I was calling my husband. I was like, Pilo, oh my God, it hurts, it hurts. And I was like, come help me. And I had to lock the door, right? I never locked the door unless I poop. But that, you know, I locked the door and I was like, what the heck? And I told him, I was like, come help me, come help me. He was like, the door is locked. And I tried to like grab onto the, like, the doorknob. Dude, just to raise my hand, it hurt so bad. I was like, <gasps> kill me. Oh my God. Like it literally felt like kind of like contractions or something like that. It was like a really nasty pain. And then um, he was, like, trying to, like, lift me up. I was, like, just put your hands, like, in my armpit right here so you could kind of, like, lift me. And he was trying to, but he would, like, put a little, like, try to lift me up a little bit. And, like, it would hurt so bad. And I was, like, you know what? Just, let me just, like, you know, let it, like, pass. And, dude, I was, like, crying. I was crying del dolor because, like, I haven't felt that type of pain in, like, ever. Like, si me dolió la cintura, pero, like, that type of pain, pain, never. And I was, like, oh, my goodness. I had just literally finished doing my you know my makeup my base because the last clip you guys um saw was like just my eyeshadow and i had just done my base y todo. and i was like oh my goodness and so then um así pasó. i was like in the bathroom for like 10 minutes like with that pain like in one certain like position i was like oh my god and then after i was just like literally walking but with my hands on my knees like literally like viejita like style like así toda like curved and everything and then I got to the bed and like it literally took me like probably like two three minutes to actually like fully lay down because like, it would hurt so bad. And then um, till now it's probably like what like eight thirty. That was like two ish, and right now it's like eight thirty, and I'm still like laying down. I'm st like my son is stuck on me, Maurita, and um, my husband did go to work. So my mom, um, if it wasn't for my mom, like I I don't know how I would do with Damien, but um, yeah, she took him outside and um. My mom fed me. She, um, my brother put me, um, the, what's it called? The heating pads. And then, um, I have, like, all these snacks right here. I have my, um, Flanax. I just drank this beef. Um, right when I started feeling the pain, like, at three, I, um, drank the Advil. And I drank four. But they were, like, 200. So, it was a total of 800 milligrams. So, I just took an, um, Flanax right now. And I have, like, snacks and, like, waters and everything. And I'm just laying down like it hurts to turn. And yeah, so. And I like took out my lashes and everything and like, I look all busted, but whatever. This is not what the video, video was supposed to be. And yeah, we'll see how long I last with this pain. Because when I my back does hurt, I usually take like two, maybe even three days to like fully recover. To like fully like, you know, stop hurting. And hopefully with the Flanax, I, you know, it helps. So, yeah. Sorry for the lighting, guys, but 
I'm still in excruciating pain. Um, I just started stretching. Like, my husband was helping me. Like, I thought I was feeling better. And I went to the restroom. Oh, my God. I couldn't even clean myself this time. Because the last time I went to the restroom, um, it was, like, at, like, 10-ish. And I was able to get up and come back and clean myself and everything, wash my hands. But this time, I was not. I couldn't even clean myself. My husband had to, like, help me put my underwears up and everything. And I was literally trying to get, like, this is a bed, right? It's probably, like, two feet high. I could not lay on it. Like, it was so hard. Like, And then uh, my husband, I had, like, put half of my body on top. Oh, shit. I put half of my body, like, on the bed from my waist up and i could not lift my legs and my husband was trying to lift them and it was so bad that i literally from up there to like to the floor i literally dropped and i was just in like in the pain where like i don't know i just couldn't handle it like i was like oh my and i was like crying and my son was seeing me cry and he was crying too because he's getting scared so I had to like literally, you know, suck up my pain so he won't cry with me. He just fell asleep. He's actually on the bed. I'm be sleeping on the floor. Hopefully the hardness of the floor helps me. Um and my husband wanted to take me to the hospital, but I was like, no, like if, you know, maybe tomorrow if I, if I feel the same then yeah. But it's literally like one in the morning already and oh my god so I, I was stretching right now and i feel like it feels a little bit better like it, i wasn't able to like lift my head up from like you know like this a lot and now i feel like i'm able to like lift it a little bit i'm not even gonna be able to take off all my makeup i still have like my base and everything but does it matter right now like i know if i try i'm not even gonna be able to take it off so Yeah. So we'll see how how I feel tomorrow. This is so not the video I was gonna like film. Maybe about this. I was just gonna film like a you know get ready with me makeup tutorial type of thing. Look at me now. Alright. See you guys tomorrow. Let's see como manesco. I do have to take my Flanax at 3 in the morning, so I'm just going to put my alarm. So, yeah. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. It's like 12.30 right now. And I woke up like 8-ish. And, yeah, it was so hard to go to restaurant. Oh, my God. I was like, uh... And then <laughs> I just ate a bowl, so my my mouth is purple. I mean purple, orange. Anyways, and so um I went to a restroom and my obviously my husband was helping me and um my son he was crying because he was still like wanting to go to sleep but obviously I couldn't put him back to sleep because I couldn't carry him or anything so he ended up ended up waking up and then um luego, luego I, told, I told my husband solo llora con mi mom because I, I was like oh my god because he just wanted to be with like with me so i was like i can't so just take it to my mom and then um like it's so bad like i couldn't like like he literally had to like put my underwears up again and everything because it was so hard i was like <sighs> and i couldn't and then um and it was like really bad like and my mom took my my son to they went to um subway and they brought us some subway so um while they went my husband started sending them a massage i was gonna film that but if the massage didn't feel so good i was like oh my god i can't and so yeah he was like starting the massage con una máquina, the one that has its like, i'll put the picture right here it's like a two things in the front like this and it's just like a palo like the ones they use for therapy like those kind he was massaging like my back and my legs and everything because my i'm telling my feet feel numb i don't know what's wrong with me and then um my mom she went to this es un señor que vende como cosas naturales we call him el brujo because he has like medicina for everything and it's like all natural 
And so they went and they bought me like a pomada, like an ice, like ice hot type of thing. My husband did put me that one and I felt like that one did work a lot. I'm able to move a little bit more. And then my mom, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes later after that one, she put me the one she bought me. And then um, at one, I'm supposed to take another pill that she got me. And yeah, I feel a little bit better. I'm able to like get up and everything, but like to move my hips, it kind of hurts. But yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit better. And I do have this, um, this fajat looking thing on right now. Look, you look skinny! <laughs> this fajat thing, para que me apriete, so it can be like kind of tight. It does hurt, so. I need like a lot of things to like help me recover or whatever. I don't know what it's doing, but one of those things or everything all together is helping me. Alright, I'll give you an update later on because... Okay guys, so it's literally like day five of like <sighs> of when I got hurt or like my back started hurting. So when I the back started hurting it was Saturday na tarde. So it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. So that's day five. And I'm barely like slowly like you know getting better. Like uh, wearing a long long shirt, but I'm able to like stand better because even yesterday I was like walking hold on let me show you I was walking and I was like this I was like literally walking like this like you know chueca. and today I feel like I can stand better and bend like down to get things better but yeah I'm not 100% like recovered but I do feel better and yeah I'm gonna straighten my hair and maybe just put a little bit of makeup because it's been a rough couple of days especially look at that saturday the no, sunday i was already like oh my god i'm already like over like you know being out in bed the whole day <clears throat> and like yeah i'm so thankful my mom has been taking care of damien because if it wasn't for my mom you know it's, sorry that she's been like taking care of damien like she feeds him she changes it she's she's been showering him and then yeah, that when my husband get, um, comes over he takes over and stuff so like <sighs> it's been pretty hard um he's asleep right now damien he's on the bed so he's been with me today like most of the day like my mom did take him for a little bit but today he has been here with me most of the day so yeah um <clears throat> so if you guys are wondering just i don't know maybe you guys feel um get these like random like back pains as well well ever since i started getting back pains like way like before i even like had damien because i did get the epidural and my mom and everybody said oh it's because of the epidural because of the epidural and like you know it might be i don't know but even before i had damien i had back back problems like my back were hurt so bad like there was like days where like three four days where like my back was hurting and i couldn't like you know i would be able to get up but not as like you know wasn't as bad or whatever and then um so yeah and when before i even had got married or anything when i would have those i would take these pills that my aunt used to give me because she has the same problem so i was like what if we have you know the same thing and so i would take her pills and they would work and now this time like n not her pills not the pills i used to take like motrin or Advil, none of those work so my mom she went to um this guy que vende, you know, cosas naturales. So she got me this, this, these pills. I don't know if you guys can see them. Hopefully it's not blurry. She got those pills for me. She got those and esta pomada. She got those too. And I feel like this pomada, I feel didn't work as much as the um, ice cold as this one. Um but yeah so i started the first i used this one and i feel like it didn't first no the first one i used this one and then i used this one and i feel like this one didn't work as well as this one and because this one i feel like would calm down my my pain a little bit so i started using this one more and um before these pills i was using um the flanax i was using these and so i gave up using these and i started using the ones that my mom got me and I feel like they have been working. Um, I also have been using a faja because I feel like if I don't, like, I mentreco más. Like, I start walking more like like this, like sideways. And with the faja, like, I feel like it makes, like, pressure to it. And, like, 
I don't know. I just took it off right now. And I don't want to get like, like too too used to it, you know, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, that's my update on my fifth day. Um, como les digo, I'm gonna do my my hair. I'm gonna straighten it, or I don't know if I want to straighten it or put like a like half up, half down, because it is pretty hot today too. So I don't know. Um. But yeah, that's my update. Today, I'm actually going to be showing... Well, hopefully, I'm going to be showing some perfumes to my neighbors. So, I don't want to look too bummy for them, you know? <laughs> but yeah, guys. Alright, then. Okay, guys. So, um, today is Friday. Today, tomorrow, it's going to be a week from me getting hurt. Um, but yeah, so... Today, my bag is not, I mean, yesterday and today, my bag is, like, almost healed, like, almost completely. But, um, I, I would say it's, like, 90%, um, you know, gone back to normal because there is times where, like, if I moved a certain way, it does hurt or, like, it does sting. So, uh, I'm still taking the pills. I'm gonna take at least another two days, maybe. Yeah, I'm, uh, como les digo, this was not the video I was supposed to film, but it just happened and i was like you know what let me just like record like my recovery thing or whatever it's just i don't know things that i do go through and like you know things that are real and, yeah, and i feel like sometimes people just won't post that maybe i don't know so this is what happens to me like i get like these pains like i wouldn't say pretty often but like often um this one has like for sure been like the worst out of like any a back pain i've ever had besides like freaking labor but yeah it was really bad um so yeah this is the end of the video hope you guys like comment share and subscribe don't forget don't forget to hit the bell icon so you guys can get notified every time i upload and i'll see you next time bye